typically male lions live to about 10 years old, 11 years old in the wild. And the sort of the rough, again, the typical breakdown of their age is they, up to about two, live in the pride. And then when they reach about two, they get kicked out. And the liver's nomads until they're about four or five. And then they'll take over a territory. Where is he going? And then depending on how strong they are, they can stay dominant normally until about 9, 10 years of age. Where is he going? Let's just see where he goes first and then we'll move. Just give him time to settle down first. But then as they reach 8, 9 years old, they get displaced sometimes by other lions again. But these guys are very, very dominant looking in their whole characteristics, their whole sort of way they look. So. It's not impossible for lions to stay dominant a bit longer, maybe until 11, 12, 13 years old even. Especially with these guys being a big coalition, that's uh, definitely a possibility. They are stunning, eh? <laughs> Just those eyes are... You know you're not looking at a house camp when you look into those eyes. spots again. I must admit, I'll be quite curious to know where the other males are. This guy, obviously, because of that limp, would be a little bit less mobile, so it makes sense for him just to stay and eat more and rest. Already in the last 24 hours, that limp has improved. And there was a good chance, so I was hoping that the other males would all be here as well, but it might be that last night they did a bit more patrolling, a bit more marauding. Maybe during the course of the morning, they might be heading back here. In fact, I'm going to stay here for a few minutes more and then I'm going to head off to Bifflesuk Dam just see maybe they're there to drink water and also just check the general area that might be that they're moving back here so it'll be nice to find some of the other males as well. get up quite soon lots of vultures busy trying to take their chances a couple of them flying down onto the carcass and you can see more and more flying past that's what he's looking up at ah look at that face and normally you find that these guys can lose their patience quite quickly so at any given moment he could jump up and go chase them off
Beautiful. Again, if you look very carefully, especially when we close up like that, you'll we'll see the reflection in his eye. You can make out the, the blue or the white of the horizon and the bush around it as well. You can see the hair a little bit matted on his face. That could be from some of the blood and so on from feeding. Obviously, like most other cats as well, over the next couple of days, they'll clean themselves down to perfection again. Look at all those scars on the nose. That's from many claws and teeth. Battle scars. Just saw a kill there. He caught a fly. There's that beautiful grass texture that you see in the foreground between us and the line. That's from a one of the panicum grasses called guinea grass. I'm going to try and go a little bit forward. Huh? There's a nice gap just up front. Sorry guys, at the moment it's very, very hard to drive. We've totally lost our clutch, so uh, a little bit tricky to handle the vehicle, but we're going to try our best. was beautiful. One of the best sort of close-up views you had of these lines for a little bit. I'm sure you enjoyed that. Again, um, but uh, we're just going to go back to the water for a few seconds and we can just try and maneuver at least to try and get another look or two at this big mouth. He's just gone behind the bushes there. So we'll see you back here just now. Uh, we're in such a way to see this line again. Welcome back with us. We're going to sit here for a little bit. We've uh, lost total control over the, the clutch and the gears subsequently, but for the moment we can see him. We're going to spend some more time with him and then um, we'll have to head back. But for the moment, we've got an awesome lion to look at and we'll enjoy that for a bit. I've asked James to go break that stick off in front of the lion's face, but for some reason he said he's, he's got to pay full attention to the camera, so unfortunately. We can't break that stick off. What's quite amazing is this carcass, relative to yesterday, has moved probably half far down. Over there, right? 10, 15 meters, 10, 15 yards. I'd say maybe one or maybe last night there would have been more lions here at some stage or maybe two of them together dragged it, but it's probably twice their own weight, that carcass. It's quite amazing. And I think this lion decided to rather come and lie down close to it, otherwise with the amount of vultures in the area at the moment, like I said, there's probably a hundred plus vultures in the general vicinity. If one of them didn't guard this, those vultures would eat this very, very quickly. <laughs> 